apparently I ran out of storage again so the video cut off so I need to be quick with this and the music keeps stopping <laughs> but God all right so it cut off where I was going to go into spiritual warfare the name of this Bible app you can follow along with me um, by downloading a Bible app of your choice I will attach the Bible app that I use um, that I'm using for this video in the description so always look in the descriptions of um, the videos because there are some things that the Lord leave me to say about the video or about a situation as I, the video is loading uploading sometimes um, and you get more information it's what the message is about a lot of times with the video description um, what is spiritual warfare spiritually speaking there's an unseen world that our human eyes can't see in this unseen world there's a battle taking place that was in, instigated by our spiritual enemy Satan he also refers to as the devil the evil one and the thief among other names Satan is the father of lies. Every plan of attack and activity from Satan begins with a lie. That's his uh, ammunition against Christ's followers. If he can use, if he can get us to believe a lie, that's the beginning of deception. That's why we must know, live, stand on, and share God's truth. We must understand that Satan isn't omnipresent. There is there are eight billion people in the world and God and our good amazing God God is with each and every one of us, but Satan isn't. Yes, there are other evil spirits and forces at work, but he's unable to be everywhere all the time. So let's not give him too much credit. If we choose to follow Christ, we're engaged in spiritual warfare. Why? Because Satan hates that we're following of Christ, so he'll do whatever he can to trip us up. And while Satan has some power, he isn't all powerful like our great God. In fact, he's a short rope and actually has to ask permission from God to do anything. Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you, sift all of you as we but I have prayed for you Simon that your faith may not fail and when you have turned back strengthen your brothers that's Luke 22 31 32 that was the NIV version the fact that Satan has to request permission from God is both encouraging and hard to hear it isn't it if God is a hundred percent sovereign why does he allow Satan to cause problems this is where our faith must engage. We'll never grasp why God hasn't sent Satan to his eternal home of torment. But Revelations 20.10 tells us that exactly what will happen to him one day. So read Revelations. I'm reading it on and off myself. Um, our spiritual enemy would love nothing more if we focus on the imperfections of others and forget that he even there. It's a huge part of his strategy to lead us to think that the person who offended us on the highway or our family members who treated us poorly is the enemy. They're, they aren't. He is. He uses them. Just that's why it's a spiritual warfare and we can't get upset with them. Even though we may get upset, we can't stay there. We have to fight that battle with prayer. And that's how we fight the spiritual warfare, not getting into arguments and stuff with those people. Or we're not perfect. When it happens, we ask for repentance and move on. Don't stay there. Forgive yourself. Don't get stuck. Just because our spiritual enemy is constantly looking for ways to ruin our lives doesn't mean we have to live in defeat. The one who resides in us is far greater than the one who sets out to destroy us. God is in us. The enemy sets out to destroy us. We have some tools that we can use to protect ourselves so that we don't fall into the traps he sets for us divine into dive into the next four days of this plan to find out what they are and again for video storage time i'm hoping that i get every scripture listed on today's plan and on the next video i will um 
see where my storage is and go from there. But this is Job 2. Read Job when you get a time. Um, at 6. And read how what Job went through and how he stood the test of time. And how he recovered it all. You know, this is a lot of our season that we and we're recovering it all. You know, all that has been taken from us. Everything but our lives. And we're here. And thank God some of us still have our closest family members lives as well so with the materialistic stuff the stuff that we can get back has been taken but our lives has been preserved and saved thanks to god um and those things will come back and much better and stronger and even more amazing than we could ever think of it's just something that god does for us whether we ask for it or not um Okay, so Job 2, 6, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thy hand, but save his life. And you can read the message versions to some of this as well. I was going to, but for sake of time and video, I'm just going to read the scriptures in the King James Version. And the next one is Luke 22, 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith felt not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren um that's written in red so those are by you know jesus words um when you read the bible or read these scriptures you'll get to see what's written in the red what's said by jesus what's said by other people who's writing the books John 8, 44. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So this is in red again, Jesus right and speaking to um read you can read and see who exactly he was speaking to and letting him know that he see that he was not of god they were not of god they were actually of the devil by the conversations by the things they were saying and doing that he called them out the thief uh john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy i am come that the, they may have life and they may have it more abundantly again written in red words of our Lord and Savior. Second Corinthians ten three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For weapons of the warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of the stronghold, casting down imaginations and ever high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And the last scripture is Revelations 20.10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beasts of the false prophets are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And that's the purpose of me sharing the spiritual warfare, um, explaining what it is, taking it one day at a time, one video at a time, explaining it so we may make changes and um changes can be made in our lives by us honoring what god is telling us to do by meditating by reading the word praying uh, fasting meditating and we get um insights from him we get revelations from him we get our discernment is more keen we can see around people who's playing with the words who are actually psychics and witches and these pages that we're following follow by follow they're being really um they're being really clever on hiding who they are, but ask questions when your spirit tell you to ask questions. Um, they play around with light workers, um, wicked X, Y, Z, um, you know, all the stuff that's of evil. We have to be careful of what we're connecting with. Um, witchcraft is very real. People can sh can, um, show themselves in the carnal eyes as one thing 
and their spirit is actually doing another thing. And it's one thing when it's just them and they're doing it to themselves, but when they're projecting and they're doing things against people just because evil does evil things. So we just have to be more aware of that and stay vigilant to that. And the more and more we stay with God, the more he wean these people out. So I've been praying for everyone that's connected to me and everyone that I'm connected to uh, one way or the other. I've been in serious prayer and I know and trust that God is we weaning these people off and weeding them off our pages. I've been blocking some. My numbers will be way higher, but it's never been about numbers with me. Although numbers, it takes numbers to get our stuff out in an open, more broader audience. We still are vigilant and we are letting God lead us. So I thank God for all your supports out here. Um, I, I thank God that I'm able to support you all back as well in one way, shape, or form. And that we continue to lift each other up as we're doing. And just continue to trust and believe in God and accept what he's showing you. And take it out for yourself. Like someone said, if you see something on my page, let me know if I'm not aware of and I, I'm going to, to honor that queen's request. And I ask the same of you guys. If I'm missing something, because sometimes we're missing it. But I do trust and believe that God is standing in the gap what we're missing and he's getting rid of. He's blocking them from our view that they can't even see us because we are covered in the blood of Jesus. And they can't penetrate that. So that's what we know. Y'all have an amazing day. Until the next video, Tanya Curry on the Human Rights Movement Projects.